Hey there, welcome back to another Voltage Modular tutorial, and in today's video we're going to explore adding multiple layers of expression to your patches. Before we get into the video today, be sure to subscribe down below to stay up to date with all the latest tutorials and tips, and if you have a suggestion for a future video, let us know down in the comments. Now, modular may not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think of something that has a lot of expression to it, like a voice or a guitar, but with the available expression parameters in Voltage Modular, you can easily add a lot of movement and motion to your patches in only a couple of clicks. The CV sources here in the I.O. panel offer a variety of opportunities for expressive patch design. You can see here we not only have the pitch and gate, but we also have things like velocity, aftertouch, sustain, the bend wheel, and the mod wheel. What's particularly fun about this is that since it's modular, we can assign these things to any destination we would like. So instead of having just velocity controlling volume, it could also control the mix of a delay. You could assign the sustain pedal to control FM. You could assign aftertouch to control the mix of a reverb and anything else you can imagine, which opens up a lot of really interesting creative possibilities. Here today, I've got a quick patch I've created to demonstrate a few of these ideas. Let's take a listen. For the sake of time in this video, we won't be breaking down this entire patch as it's pretty complicated, but if you'd like to get it for yourself, you can find that with the link down in the description below. The first expression type I've added here is velocity, and this is actually going to quite a few different destinations. If you download this patch for yourself, I've also color coded these wires just so you can see a bit better as to what exactly is going on. But if we follow down the green cables here for velocity, we'll see where it's going. If we follow this down, we'll see that it first feeds into this exponent module here, which is allowing me to control the shaping of the velocity to better suit my playing style, and then it's feeding out into all the subsequent destinations. If we hover over this jack here, we'll see that it's going to quite a few different destinations, and this is one of the biggest keys when it comes to creating expressive instruments inside of Voltage Modular, is not only using expression in one dimension, but rather a variety of different things to get more complexity out of the sound. If you follow along with these cables, we'll see that we're controlling things like the pulse width, the roundness of the waveforms, the low pass filter cutoff, and even the filter saturation. I'm also feeding this over into a threshold module here, which is really fun to mess around with because this allows us to send out two different signals from one single source. If you take a look at this module, it's only going out to two different destinations, but what's neat about this is the threshold is set, and if it's over that threshold, it's then going to be assigned to the resonance of the high-pass filter. If it's under that, it will then control the cutoff of the high-pass filter. Next up here, we've got Aftertouch, which is one of my personal favorite expressions for a patch because I find it's a really easy way to add a whole new set of dynamics and movement to your patches without a lot of effort. The Aftertouch here is color-coded to yellow, and you'll see that it first goes into this amplifier down here. Now, what this is controlling is the output of this second super oscillator, which is tuned up a fifth and then slightly detuned from there. The output of that then feeds into the main amplifier here, which is also from the first layer, which is this FM super oscillator. So if I really dig into the keys, we'll get a little harmony to the patch, which is pretty fun. I've also assigned it to feed over here to the mix of the stereo delay. So not only does this patch end up getting harmonized, it also just rings out a little bit and adds some nice extra stereo width to the whole thing. For the pitch bend message, I've sent this into a bend limiter and then just changed the bend range so it will go up an octave or down a fifth. And then I fed this out into the two main oscillators. This is a bit more of a basic expression, but again, since this is fully modular, you could assign the pitch bend wheel to control any other parameter you would like. To finalize the patch, I've also added some very quick mod wheel control here, and this is just going to the wavefold CVN of the super oscillators, allowing me just to get some more complex timbres out of the sound by subtly moving the mod wheel over time as I play the patch. If you want to take these ideas to the next level, you can also utilize the poly sources here, which allow you to output a poly velocity message, allowing you to add just one extra layer of expression to your polyphonic patch design. However, it gets really interesting if you have an MPE-capable controller, because Voltage Modular also supports MPE. If you have an MPE-capable controller, you can use the MIDI in from host and feed that into an MPE interface module here, and then you get access to all of the MPE messages, including velocity, bend, pressure, and slide. This setup alone right here could really take patches to the next level because then you would get access to per note messages allowing for per note expressive madness. And I think that covers it for this video, so thanks for watching, and to pick up Voltage Modular for yourself or learn more, you can head over to cherryaudio.com.